A Prayer to Remember All God's Wonderful Deeds by Chelsea DeMatteis, read by Leah Martin. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I'll recount all of your wonderful deeds. Psalm 9-1 I often find myself being one who begins prayer with the groanings of my heart rather than praise. And this has recently really troubled me. We can see in Matthew 15 that out of the mouth speaks the fruit of the heart. This stirred up a conviction in me that the words most often leaving my lips as the day begins and closes isn't praise. My heart isn't overflowing with thankfulness, but rather overflowing with requests. I have always loved Psalm 9. It's a beautiful part of scripture and one that sets my heart in the right posture. It begins right away with the reminder to give thanks and recount all of God's wonderful deeds. Do you do this? Do you set aside time in your prayer life to just thank God and recount the work he's done in your life and in your heart? This is something so vital to our walk with the Lord. We should desire to praise our mighty God, the one who is all-knowing, most powerful, and everlasting. He's moved mountains, made ways, and met us in the darkest valleys of our days. The one who has led every generation of believers to grow in affection of him. For me, I've begun to make it a point of thanking God for who he is and for what he's already done before asking him to do more for me. I want to praise him for all the wonderful deeds he's unfolded in my life. I don't want to forget what he's done for me. You and I both know that our Heavenly Father knows our hearts. He knows our desires and needs and our requests and our hardships. But when we begin prayer with a point of praise on our hearts, we're in a posture to see just how big God is. This was the reminder I needed. God is God. I'm not. God's not there just to be asked of things. God desires us to have a personal relationship with Him, a relationship that acknowledges He is sufficient and I'm not. He's perfect. I'm not. And lastly, a relationship that understands He loved me before I loved Him. This is good news for you and me. That God loves us so much that he stirs up the conviction in our hearts to remember how good he is. To remember how much he loves us, how much he's done for us, and that he sent his one and only son to pay the ultimate price for our eternal reward. Friend, I pray you'll join me in making it a point to praise God often and thank him for all he has done. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for all that you are and all that you've done on my behalf. Lord, I give thanks to you with my whole heart. I'll take a moment now and recount all your wonderful deeds. Thank you for taking my heart of stone and molding it into one that pursues you. I pray I'll grow each day in my awareness of all that you do and that my heart will bask in worshiping God Almighty. You are a good, good Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.